Hi, in this uh, video, we are going to show you how to use the styles tool of Google Docs and how you can use that to create automatic table of contents. So the styles tool of Google Doc pertains to automating the way that you format your document. So for example, here I have uh, my document and I want to format it in such a way that the headers are formatted the same way and there's a distinction between the main headings and the subheadings. And then later on, we will bring in a table of contents. So the first step that I want to do is I want the sections to get their own pages. So for that, I'll first position my cursor before the first segment or first chapter of my report, for example, the introduction part. And instead of doing enter, 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 like most people actually do, I will use control enter. So control enter or page break allows us to send certain parts of your document to another page without you doing the enter, enter, enter. It's also better because if, for example, there are additional lines on the previous pages, then the page, okay, uh, the succeeding pages that you create using page breaks, as we called it, will not move compared to doing the enter, enter, enter method that will push the lines okay, downwards as you put more lines to the previous pages. So I'll keep doing that on all my pages or all my sections. So control enter for the second part of the report. I'll do that here as well. Okay, and then the findings. Okay, so I've just formatted my document okay, in such a way that each page is their own section of the report. Now, the next part that we're going to do is we're going to format the headers. And it's not formatting like manual where you go to bold and you change the format okay, using this. No, not this one. In Google Sheets and actually even in Excel, you will see that there's an option for you to identify what portion of uh, the report okay, that line should be. So here in Google Sheets, you should see a drop down, which originally will say normal text right beside the font. And we will declare that this part of the report is a heading one. So we will declare, we will apply heading one here. And we'll also have to do the same for the other headings. So I'll also highlight this one and then convert it to a heading one as well. Take note that the heading number here doesn't pertain to how many headings you have, but more of the outline level of that heading. So the second one here, the review of related literature, is technically also a main heading, not a subheading. So I will apply heading one as well. I will do the same here. So heading one. And then get this one. And then heading one as well. Now, I have here our first subtopic, which is not a main heading. So I'm also going to format that, but this time I'm going to change it to heading 2 because it's already the second level of my outline. So heading 2, click. I'll do the same here. Heading 2, and there you go. So we've now declared our headings. So aside from making it uh, uniform, you could also automate formatting your headings. For example, I'm going to format this into a different color. Now, I will uh, apply this format to all the headings. Take note that it's not automatic, that the other headings will automatically update. So you have to first highlight that portion and then go back to the format okay, tool and then go to heading one and you should see an option that says update heading one to match in word it should say update heading one to match the selection so we will click that and because of that this current heading that i've highlighted will be the format of the other headings as well so as you could see, you only have to format one, okay, the heading or heading ones. Let's say I'm going to change this one. And then you just have to 
update okay the heading style and you will see that the other headings of that same level will also update making it efficient and making it more uniform so that's one of the benefits of using headings in google sheets and even in excel now one other thing that you can do whenever you have headings is that you could also use that to navigate your document on the left part of your google docs you should see document outline button on the upper left so if you click that you will see that the headings that you declared can be clicked at this point and you can easily navigate to that portion of the report so that's one of the benefits of using headings you can even delete okay entire sections from this okay so it's now gone from being a heading now one major benefit of uh, using headings is that it will allow you to create automatic table of contents so i scrolled all the way up to my first page and i will bring in a table of contents so i have to go to insert and then under insert i will bring in our table of contents so it's all the way down and then it will ask you like what kind of style do you want do you want this plain text style do you want to have dots between the names of the sections and then the page number or do you want them to show us links so i'll choose the second one and you should see that i now have an automatic table of contents okay in my document as easy as that and take note if i move a certain section of the document okay let's see if it will update so i'm going to send subtopic 2 to another page and it should now be at page 7 okay maybe we need to put the page number first so insert and then page numbers and then maybe you want it on the lower right portion like that so my subtopic number two is now at the sixth page of my document so i will scroll up and see that it's actually not going to be automatic the page number of subtopic two is still page five not page six and that is because you have to still update the pivot uh, the table of, uh, of contents so how do you update you just have to click on the uh, table of contents and you should see there that there's this button on the left part that shows the update table of contents so we click that and you should see that the table of contents now automatically updated to show the more details option and that's it we now formatted the google docs in a more efficient and more feature filled way that's it for this video i will see you in the next one